16 huge Hollyoaks spoilers for next week. Hey there, Hollyoaks aficionados. Hold on to your seats because next week's episodes are about to hit you with a tidal wave of drama. We're talking jaw-dropping returns, nail-biting confrontations, and heart-pounding moments that will have you glued to the screen. Get ready to dive into the latest spoilers from April 1st to 5th, including the 16 huge Hollyoaks bombshells that will leave you gasping for more. 1. Roe confides in Mercedes. Tony opens up to Sally about the challenges he's facing with Rose, prompting Sally to offer her support and advice. Encouraged by Sally's words, Tony takes a step towards seeking help. But when Diane learns of his decision, tensions rise as she grapples with her own worries and fears. Meanwhile, outside the garage, Rose finds solace in Mercedes after a mishap, leading to a heartfelt conversation where Mercedes imparts some invaluable wisdom about embracing one's true self despite the obstacles in life. The drama in Hollyoaks escalates as Tony navigates the complexities of his situation with Rose, seeking guidance and understanding from those closest to him. With Diane's concerns adding another layer of tension, the storyline takes a poignant turn, highlighting the struggles and dilemmas faced by the characters. Meanwhile, Rose's interaction with Mercedes offers a glimmer of hope and empowerment, reminding viewers of the importance of staying true to oneself in the face of adversity. 2. Frankie is questioned by the social worker. In the latest Hollyoaks drama, tensions reach a boiling point within the Osborne-Ashworth household after recent family altercations leave both JJ and Suzanne injured. As a result, social services make a visit to assess the situation, casting a shadow of scrutiny over the family's dynamics. When questioned by the social worker, Frankie chooses to remain tight-lipped, adding to the strain within the household. Later, emotions run high as Frankie lashes out at her mother, revealing the underlying turmoil brewing beneath the surface. Amidst the chaos, Suzanne grapples with the difficult decision of granting Frankie her independence. Feeling that it's the best course of action for her daughter, Suzanne makes the tough choice to move out, further fracturing the family unit. The storyline delves into the complexities of familial relationships and the challenges of navigating independence and autonomy, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats as they anticipate the fallout of Suzanne's decision on the Osborne-Ashworth family dynamic. 3. Prince faces a backlash. Warren tells Mercedes that he needs her to launder money through the garage, but when she refuses, the conversation turns tense. Prince walks in and tries to put a stop to it, but Warren lashes out, throwing things at him. When flyers are printed showing Prince as the face of the McQueen's car wash, some misleading wording leads to him receiving unwanted phone calls. 4. Leah and Lucas worry about Warren Leah and Lucas are frightened and don't want to be at home, worried that Warren may come to hurt them. Cindy walks by and sees how distressed they are. She tries to comfort them, reminding them that their dad's actions aren't their fault. Refusing to let Warren kick them out of their own house, Lucas then returns home. 5. Stee returns home. James manages to get Stee released in the meantime, but Stee receives a less than warm welcome from his kids. Stee tries to make amends with his children, but they don't want anything to do with him and are worried about what the implications might be with him being home and close to Warren. 6. Prince fears Mercedes is in danger. After a message is left on the garage door, Mercedes tells Warren that she's not scared of him. Prince doesn't want to let Warren get away with his threats, but his family plead with him to stay out of it. While spying on Warren, Prince overhears a conversation about him plotting his reaving on Mercedes, but gets caught and trapped in the loft office before he can act. Later, Prince escapes and rushes to get Mercedes out of the garage, believing she's in danger. 7. Sienna gives Warren a warning Lucas crosses paths with Warren in the village, delivering a bombshell revelation about his father's legal situation. As the confrontation unfolds, Sienna intervenes issuing a stern warning, to Warren about the repercussions of his vengeful actions. Threatening to limit his access to their twins if he persists, Sienna attempts to sway Warren from his path of retribution. However, Warren remains resolute, reminding Sienna of his unwavering determination and asserting his authority despite her ultimatum. The encounter between Lucas, Warren and Sienna sets the stage for a dramatic showdown, highlighting the complexities of their intertwined relationships and the high stakes involved. As Warren's quest for justice collides with Sienna's desire to protect her family, viewers are left on the edge of their seats, anticipating the explosive repercussions of their clash. With emotions running high and alliances shifting, the storyline promises to keep audiences captivated as the characters navigate the tumultuous waters of love, betrayal and revenge. 8. Warren breaks down. The McQueens are left fearful after Warren's invasion of their home. 
Mercedes attempts to give Warren a taste of his own medicine by smashing up the loft, but things don't go to plan when Warren turns on her. Mercedes makes a curious call, asking for help from someone to protect her from Warren. Warren is hurting and breaks down, telling his mum he feels destined not to have a family and has made his mind up to move away. Norma tries to convince Warren to stay and make it right. 9. Freddie Roscoe is back. Needing to find money to pay for new locks, Mercedes pulls the family together to raise some. After seeing the McQueens unite to help one another, Warren apologises to Mercedes for scaring her. However, he's left stunned when she reveals, Freddie Roscoe is back. 10. Tony supports Ro Rose, bravely opens up to his parents about his desire to be called Ro from now on, signalling a significant step in his journey of self-discovery and identity. While Tony expresses his support for Ro's decision, Diane grapples with her own struggles in accepting the change, highlighting the challenges faced by families in navigating issues of gender identity and self-expression. Seeking guidance, Tony turns to Mercedes for advice, determined to prioritise Rose's well-being and happiness above all else. Empowered by Mercedes's words, Tony takes proactive steps to ensure Rose's transition is met with understanding and acceptance from their community. With Rose's return to school looming, Tony takes it upon himself to inform Carter of the name Change, demonstrating a commitment to advocating for Rose's needs and fostering a supportive environment for their journey of self-discovery. As the storyline unfolds, viewers are invited to witness the complexities of identity and acceptance, as well as the unwavering love and support that binds families together in the face of adversity. And there you have it, folks. 16 jaw-dropping spoilers for next week's episodes of Hollyoaks that are guaranteed to have you on the edge of your seat. From shocking returns to intense confrontations, it's going to be one wild ride. So, don't forget to tune in from April 1st to 5th to catch all the drama unfold. And if you enjoyed this sneak peek into the chaos of Hollyoaks, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more thrilling updates, and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on these bombshells. Until next time, happy watching. 11. Roe faces prejudice from Carter. Carter offers Tony and Diane help with Roe, but Diane is left distressed discovering Tony has spoken to the headteacher without her knowing. Carter shows resistance towards accepting Roe's new name, but Roe refuses to back down. Tony and Diane seek advice from Kitty, who tells them it's important that Roe doesn't feel any conflict between them. Tony later tells Lucas that it's important he uses her, him, pronouns when referring to Roe, in order to not push him away further. 12. Suzanne and Darren try to help Frankie Suzanne, buys Frankie a journal to encourage her to write about her feelings. Frankie and Suzanne spend some one-on-one -on -one time together, but Frankie is left panicking when her mother tells her she's not moving back in with them yet. 13. Freddie settles back into the village. Freddie and Warren end up in a physical altercation as their past rivalry is revisited. Mercedes manages to stop them. Mercedes tells Warren that Freddie's back because she needs a mechanic and that their baby has no father. Darren is happy to see his brother has returned to the village, and during a quick catch-up at the dog, he discovers Freddy handed himself in to the police and has served his time. He later brings Freddy home to meet the twins and tells his kids how important family is and how they should stick by each other. 14. Warren turns back to Marie. Warren messages Marie to come round, wanting to let off some steam. Later, Warren bumps into Stee, who pleads for him to not hurt his children. 15. James worries about Stay. Ethan tells Stee something is off with Warren giving him a job and acting like he's helping him. With the loft's relaunch imminent, Stee offers to help find a replacement when he learns they are down on staff. James is worried that Stee may have relapsed after staying out all night. But when he runs into him, he admits he stayed at Warren's, feeling something is off. James confronts Warren, but instead, he only makes things worse. 16. Freddy behaves strangely. Freddy's acting suspiciously, and Lizzie catches him trying to get into her house. Freddy shows her a picture of when he lived there, claiming he just wanted to look around. 